Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I wanted to get in touch with you guys real quick, man, to uh, tell you what I believe is the play of the weekend. Uh, and it might be going under the radar a little bit because it is uh, the thriller fight. It's not, you know, it's not Charlo Castano. It's not, uh, you know, boot tennis. But it's uh, the Kovalev versus Pulev fight. All right, uh, what's a guy named Travel Pulev? Kubrat Pulev's brother, younger brother, I believe. Um, guys, uh, right now, uh, as I do this video, you can get a plus 220 on Pulev to win by knockout against Sergey Kovalev. Alright, um, Kovalev has been out of the ring for what, two and a half years? And in the last time we saw him, he got KO'd brutally. Alright, his third knockout defeat. Alright, he was stopped to the body by Ward. He probably could have continued, but the ref stopped. And later, Alvarez knocked him down what, multiple times and the fight was stopped. You know, everybody thought he was finished and done at that point. Credit to the guy he came, he got Alvarez and got his belt back. Um, and then of course in his last fight uh, before that Anthony Yard almost stopped him but uh, you know he survived and came back and stopped Yard alright credit to Kovalev for that but uh, you know in this following fight he fought a guy who really is not a light heavyweight as we found out in Canelo and uh, he got stopped knocked out cold alright been out of ring two and a half years he getting back in with this guy who, who is a legit cruiserweight, you know, a, a guy who is much bigger and thicker than him, taller, I'm pretty sure probably got a longer reach, he getting in with this guy, the only knock I can think about the guy is he's 39, you know, and he, he's been out of the ring a while too, but hell, at least he had a fight in 2021, so he's just been out a little, a little over a year, um, but uh, they said the guy was a, a bronze medalist in the Olympics, uh, when I was gonna do research on him on YouTube, I saw that he uh, he had a fight, a fight I'm sure he lost against Usyk. But hell, he has you know in ring experience with you know guy who I feel is number one pound pound in the world at the moment. All right, so he's been in with with these kind of operators. You know, uh, again a legit cruiserweight, a guy who's fought at 200 pounds and higher. Appears on his box ring, he had you know a heavyweight fight because he weighed in at like 210 or something, you know. But the guy, you know, the guy appears to have a, a punch, uh, I believe 13 knockouts and 16 wins, 16 and 0. Uh, I looked at you know a highlight tape of him, it was made three years ago, I think it was like two minutes and 28 seconds. You can see the guy's power, and yeah, he knocked one guy out of the ring, <clears throat> he dropped one guy brutally with a left hook. You know, uh, he, he will come forward and throw power punches, you know, seek the knockout. He didn't appear to be super refined, but, uh, you know, he's a, as, as the British would say, he's a big lump with a punch, all right? <laughs> you know, so you're giving me a plus 220 on a guy who is, who is a legit cruiserweight. He's 39, that's the downside, but he's only had 16 fights, so not a lot of professional wear and tear. You know, uh, a guy who has a punch, legit cruiserweight against a guy who probably really is not a legit cruiserweight, but he, you know, he really can't make 175 anymore, so he really is a, a undersized cruiserweight, uh, you know, who's been stopped multiple times, you know, who, if this guy start touching with the power, cold level probably not be able to handle it, alright, will probably crumble, not get knocked out cold, whatever. Plus 220, guys, uh... You know, better the weekend in my opinion. So uh, I just want to, you know, let you guys know about that. If you have not looked at that or thought about that, I know this is a fight that's you know big on the radar. But you know, uh, you see these guys face to face. They're gonna have the weigh in here later today. Just wait till you see the, the weigh in pictures. You know, just seeing these guys stand, you know, face to face and with clothes on. The guy is, is much bigger than Kovalev, man. Thicker and taller, I'm pretty sure, longer. And uh, this could be a disaster for Kovalev, you know. I'm I'm seeing stoppage win. And at a plus 220, I got to play it on uh, FanDuel. I'm seeing other places have it at like a plus 210. And, hell, it might drop because 
Kovalev was the slight favorite. At some places, he still is favorite. At some places, Pulev has become the favorite. If he's not the favorite, you can uh, you only get minus money on him now and not plus money. So, you know, uh, I think that's worth looking at, guys. Uh, you know, I, I think a great play. So, that's it. You know, let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.